Hello everyone, this is Erin Jordan again and I wanted to go over some of the benefits of using GarageBand and my experiences as well. As of right now, I do all of my podcasts in GarageBand as well as record the audio for my nonprofit curriculum. As discussed in the blog, GarageBand is a unique way to record your own audio for different presentations, songs, websites, etc. You can add your own music to the background of your podcasts by dragging your music selection to the jingles area of the program. There's also a nice feature to make making your podcast more professional, and that is the adjusting the track volume tool. When you click anywhere in the beginning of the track, where you want to increase and decrease the sound. You can manually adjust the small blue circles up or down depending on how you would like the sound to adjust. This will ensure that your music fades in and out professionally rather than it coming to an abrupt stop. Check out the link embedded in the blog below and view the intro to GarageBand on the Adobe website and its features. Again, I just wanted to reiterate GarageBand is a great tool, especially if you want to create your own music instead of using other artist music and then having to ask them for permission, you can definitely create something from scratch. It doesn't matter if you know how to create your own music or not. GarageBand is very user friendly and they have a lot of built in tools, a lot of built in uh, instruments that you can use and features to add, special effects to add to your voices so that your music is very unique and it sounds professional. This is Erin Jordan again signing off and thanks for listening.